Uh, As Rich knows, but you may not know, I never miss Rich's show. I never watch it, so I never miss it. <laughs> and then, a nice video retrospective. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a confession to make. I, Jerry G. Bishop, Chicago broadcasting legend and patriarch of the Spenguli family, am to blame. I am responsible for getting rich Coes into Chicago television when, in 1971, I decided to use comedy material submitted by a young Northwestern student from Morton Grove and took Rich under my wing, uh, well, the, the, the wing of my rubber chicken, actually, while doing the original Sven Gulli show on WFLD. That's when it was good. Uh, Rich wrote bits for me, played characters, provided artwork, uh, ended up as my producer, sidekick, and we went to NBC Radio in Chicago. Uh, during that time, he also worked with radio comedy legend Dick Orkin, co-writing the final group of Chicken Man episodes. A major milestone came in 1978 when I agreed to give Rich permission to continue the Svengoolie franchise as son of Svengoolie, which after numerous battles, he finally got off the ground June of 1979. Influenced by versatile Chicago TV entertainers like Ray Rayner, Bill Jackson, and <clears throat> uh, me, uh, Rich made Son of Sven Gulli more than just a horror movie show, but a full-fledged comedy program. And in his very first year, won his very first Chicago Emmy Award. Son of Sven Gulli became a local icon, winning more awards and even providing Chicago with its first televised 3D movie. When his original program was canceled, Rich freelanced, made numerous local pilots, till his triumphant return to WFLD. This happened in 1989, where he began the Coes Zone, again winning an Emmy for that show's first year. Then finally, just a few years later... The year 1995, the month January, a time of relative boredom and listless daily routine throughout Chicagoland. Berwin. It was a year when man did not walk on the moon, a year in which California had all its usual disasters. Then, on Saturday, January 7th, life changed dramatically. Ooh. Long absent, TV host Son of Svenguli returned from semi-self-imposed exile and began after life anew on the U as Sven Gulli. Here is actual footage of his first moment on the air. Hello. 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 Hello, hello, and welcome to the U. Guess who's back? The frugal gourmet. I doubt it. Sincerely, actually, it's me, Sven Gulli. I used to be son of Sven Gulli, but as you can tell, I'm all grown up now. And after being off the air for almost nine years exactly, I'm back with the kind of movies that, quite frankly, only you would watch. Attention, Medicare. King Super's leading the charge for optimum wellness. Let's get to more of my special night last year at Chicago's Museum of Broadcast Communications, where they were nice enough to honor me for my years in this top hat and to include some very important Sven set pieces among their gallery of television history. Hello there, my name is Sven Gulli, and for many years I've hosted horror movies in the Midwest, usually Chicago, which is close to my adopted home, Berwyn. Berwyn? Many times when I tell a cutting edge joke, people respond by throwing things at me, specifically rubber chickens, which I've become associated with, so be careful who you associate with. You've had a great career, Rich. Thanks so much for being with Thank us. Thank you. Is my career over? No, 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 no. It's oh, just getting okay. started. I'll tell you about that after we go off camera. Thank you very much. I'm John Calloway. Thank you, and good night.